drug discovery is undergoing a fundamental change, and scientists at Novartis are leading the way. At the Novartis Institutes for Biomedical Research, scientists have embraced a new way of thinking about disease that looks at the role of molecular pathways. In just nine years, this approach has changed drug discovery at Novartis and prompted a major shift in the way our scientists understand disease and disease therapies. The fundamental understanding of science is now that the individual genes by themselves, if you look at all 22,000, are not that useful as individual predictors. But there are certain concatenations of these that are put together as pathways. Those are better ways of defining diseases, especially cancer, but others as well. This approach gives you a, a, what's called a, a therapeutic index, meaning that you can kill cancer cells without killing normal cells. And the real power has come that once we have that level of understanding and we can produce very efficacious drugs for those pathways, we have great impact on the clinical setting. Focusing on molecular pathways is fundamentally different from other disease-centric models. Pathways are often involved in multiple disease states. Understanding how to activate or deactivate a pathway in one disease opens the door to treating other diseases where that pathway is involved. The same approach, finding a pathway that we know is involved in cancer and targeting a key node, has been successful now in four other uh, significant trials. Basal cell carcinoma, medulloblastoma, melanoma, and this year as well, the BEZ and other PI3 kinase inhibitors have been shown to be effective. The PI3 kinase pathway is responsible for up to one-third of solid tumors. The pathway approach has changed NIBR's entire research model, all the way down to how we choose which diseases to pursue therapies for. We always start with thinking about unmet medical need. That's really the key to, first of all, having a medicine that's going to bring value to patients and ultimately also to the company. Then we try and understand, taking the pathway approach, where is it that we actually need to target specifically in a pathway that's relevant to that disease. Once that whole process has moved forward to the point where we're actually testing the drug in patients, the idea is that we do small, smart, proof-of-concept studies that really show us whether the drug works the way we think it's going to work in the patient population we think it's going to work in, and then we can make really smart decisions for the big investment that comes with full development. The model we have, which seems to be working, is that if we start with rare diseases, homogeneous diseases, diseases we understand well, we can immediately get the impact of helping those patients. Quickly thereafter, almost inevitably, we can expand to larger populations, subsets of larger populations who share that same fundamental mechanism. This is an incredibly powerful way to do business. And it's a way of doing research that has helped build one of the strongest pipelines in the industry. For the more than 6,000 NIBR scientists, this approach of trying to understand how diseases work on smaller patient groups has inspired them to make new breakthroughs in drug discovery. We used to live in an industry that wanted a blockbuster. And as daunting as it is to bring any drug forward into the clinical setting, bringing a blockbuster forward is an even rarer gem. But to bring forward something that has benefit to patients, when we understand exactly why that patient's sick, I think that's the place where we feel like, now we feel empowered to spend the time to understand that. And we've been in an organization that's been supporting that for a long enough period of time to begin to show results. I really like the way the strategy uh, that management has, research and development is, is, is highly supported. They uh, put a lot of efforts and, and money into us and, and want to grow f through their own research and development. I think the message is really we are, we are in the uh, crossroad of, uh, of uh, drug development and, and I'm hoping and I think it's happening also in the market that we are, we are using a completely new grammar, a new, a new approach set a revolutionized the drug discovery process. One of the things that makes Novartis unique as a company is that the entire company really buys into the concept of we're going to go follow the science and look for unmet medical need. And if you make a really good drug that makes a big difference to patients, the business will follow. Gleevec was the poster child for that. I don't know every direction we're going to go, but I am convinced that as long as we continue to focus on research and development, we'll continue to be successful.